I've had to um, start the vans this morning, the van this one on a, on a jump start. In my wife's car. And um, transit uh, sometimes can be notorious for, for starting sometimes in, in cold weather, but hey, uh, this, this vehicle's been really good. Over the years, it's been fantastic. It's been, um, it's been on the ball, right? and I've, I've worked it like a work vehicle. It should be worked, so. I've started it now, it's, it's running, give it a jump start, and um, it probably wants a new battery, and uh, it's not used to this cold weather, and maybe wants an oil change, they're all probably a bit thick, so it's important to um, make sure that your vehicle is in good order, because you need it for work, but fortunately we have got things in place should the vehicle fail so new vehicle I think is required but it's been pretty good and needs a good clean out now but it's been working hard and that's what it's all about I've talked about it for uh let's get in there there we are I've talked about it for some time that tree there that that Acer um that's coming out we've dug it out uh though the roots are exposed at the moment it's absolutely fine because it's in that dormant period at the moment so we're doing a bit of a bonsai arm with that. Uh, we're gonna move that and we're gonna put that in a pot and the pot we're gonna put it in is this pot here. And that pot at the moment is housing an Indian bean tree, a catalpa, that was around the back. And the reason we moved that was because our neighbor said that he was gonna have uh, a glass house over the other side of the garden and it was getting a bit big. So we kindly moved it and now he's not having the glass house. But it's not a problem at all. We're going to uh, place that tree now back in that hole and swap those uh, trees over. So we've got to take those uh, box out. It's quite a big pot. It's, uh, it must be, I don't know, 800 mil high. So it, it is a big pot. So that acer will go in there quite nicely and there's a few other things to do, but that's got to be done today. So my wife's going to be giving me a hand. And because it's quite big, we're going to be using uh, the digger to get that out. I'm going to get the digger off later on. And uh, because the, the ground is frozen, I was going to put some boards down. Uh, but because the ground's frozen, I'm going to just track over there. Because that's going to have to be lifted and relayed. Because if you look over there, I've done some uh, drainage on that part of the garden. Because it was holding water with all the drive and the paving that's around here. There was a fair bit of water holding. But it's getting away now. But we really need to re-turf that. And I'm sorry to say, but those brassicas are still in the pot. Me, GoPro. Freezing day. Indian bean tree in big pot. Tree that's got to go in the pot. Bean tree got to go in a hole. Neighbours wants it moved. Yeah, that's what I said. So what we're going to do? So we, we're going to accommodate, and we, you know, we're good neighbours. We're not going to, we're not going to argue with that. It's not a problem, but it has to bite. 
making this pop for about a year, but it doesn't like it, does it? No, not at all. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna... It's freezing, isn't it? We're gonna move this down. We're gonna work harder then. Yeah, watch the... Another pot, don't damage the pot. No, I don't. <laughs> you and your wonderful ideas. We haven't broke the pot and the big picture is to save the tree. The pot's fine, made a bit of a mess. Um, when I moved it the last time, I manhandled it, dragged it out, it was hard work. You don't look too impressed at the moment. I love my tree. It'll grow. I know, it will. You can pause on it. Oh, yeah. Got the old guy, got the tree. It was hard work getting out because we didn't want to damage the pot. We damaged it before. It's okay. It's kind of damaged it a little bit down there, so it's not right. We have got the old. My wife will want me to go a little bit deeper, but the fact is, 
it's like concrete down there, so we ain't going to go much further than that. But the, the, the idea is that there's quite a big pocket here, so you'll get side movement with the water, it won't be hanging up around the roof system. So let's get this in now. Mostly balanced, isn't it? Watch the wall, the branches. Do you want me to take the weight? No, I'm gonna, I, I can stand at a time. So, you stay on two steps now. I'm gonna, I'll turn the machine off here now. We'll get it up 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 now. We'll get I'm a lady, I can multitask. Oh. <laughs> I mean, we're going to have to do, we're going to have to catch them off the bottom, aren't we? Oh, it's not bad. Yeah, it's way too high. Well, we can either cut them off the bottom. It's up to you. Just pause it in. Got the old done, and yeah, we have caused a little bit of damage, but not a huge amount. But the fact is, the tree has to be moved. We haven't got all the labour that we need around today because it's a crystal clear, but. We're at the right depth now, and uh, it, it has got a bit hard, but what you'll find is that when it, when it rains in here, because it's quite a big border anyway, uh, the, the, the border, the bed will be able to accommodate the amounts of water that will fall in here, but it'll love its feet in this, in this ground, perfect. Let's get it in, shall we? Much better. That's perfect. How's that, that angle there? That's all right. With all the new growth, we can, we can flip the face off every one after you. Um, Do you want me to hold it now? Oh, you are.
Why can we why can we move it now? It's dormant. Yeah, and what does that mean? It's everything's a bit dead. <laughs> sleepy. Yeah. Yeah, sleepy. A bit like our staff, isn't it? Yeah. As I said, when you're by yourself, it's really difficult. Though I have a wife, and she's brilliant, it's difficult to lift things like this up. That's what I've got the digger for. And yes, I've caused some damage to the lawn, but the fact is that the lawn's going to be changed. We've done a lot of major work around here, so let's put a little bit more soil in here, you know? And then see if we can get that to the right level. And what I'll have to do is, when uh, the lads come back into work, they can give me a hand to adjust the height, I'll try and get it right now. So we've had this tree, how long we had this tree? Two, 10 years? Longer than that. Yeah, so we want to keep it. And uh, this is the right time to do it. Let's try and get there. You think? That, that's been right, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I'll straighten that up there, yeah? Yeah, it'll be fine. Here we got it. <laughs> Done. So hopefully we, we this honestly this this in the in the summer will look really good, wouldn't it? Yeah. It look brilliant. Oh we've got an audience over there. <laughs> we can end it there. Well, it's in and I'm so glad that uh, it's in, but I'm also glad that we've actually uh, kept active over this Christmas period. It's the day after Boxing Day and uh, we've got on with something. I'm going to nurture this tree and believe you me, it doesn't look much at the moment. It's a deciduous tree and they never look great in the winter, but I can guarantee that's a fantastic tree. And my son Kyle loves it and he sits on it underneath it in the summer. It has a massive leaf on it and uh, when we have a good summer, underneath there and sort of chills out and uh, if Kyle likes it it's good enough for Kyle it's good enough for me and it should be good enough for you guys don't forget subscribe